Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we have a very small update that you guys need to know about. So the folks at Autodesk have actually spun off Sketchbook. Sketchbook is a beautiful tool that you can use to do your sketching and by far this is one of the most reliable tools across different platforms that you can use to make your simple drawings and wonderful sketches. Now the thing here is Sketchbook was previously owned by a company known as Alias and they were the same company that owned Maya and when Autodesk was acquired acquiring Maya, they also acquired Sketchbook Pro within this time. Now prior to them acquiring Sketchbook Pro, there were several iterations of Sketchbook up until 2018 where Sketchbook became a free app and right now you can also go ahead and get it. I'm definitely going to put this link in the description so you can check it out. And what we have today is Sketchbook is now part of a brand new company called Sketchbook Inc. There is a post on LinkedIn which you might want to also take a look at and this is from the Vice President of Automotive Concept Design XR at Autodesk and he actually went ahead to make a very small statement as he listed out a couple of things and also shed some light about what Autodesk Sketchbook looks like and all of the tiny iterations that sketchbook has actually gone through up until the point right now you can also see that there is a couple of different icons that was used to know sketchbook before now but for those who like to read much more extensive stuff there is also another link here which i'm going to put where you would be able to read more about these things and uh see some of the cool stuff that they're talking about so these folks are saying there is a whole new roadmap and they are also having a brand new concept or idea of where they would like to take sketchbook to and this is one of the things that they would want to do with this tool at this point although the tool is still totally for free and of course if you like to get this you can get this for android ios windows and also for mac and for windows you might want to take a look at the windows store as this is the place where you can get this and for those who haven't seen this tool before once you pop it open this is exactly what you have so this is your huge canvas and you can zoom in as much as you want to do whatever you want to do you have your tools here if you click on this button you'll be able to see some menus which you can work with these are the button here brings out the brush library which you can use to pick up brushes pick up your erasers and also some texture essential brushes that you might want to work with and in most cases you might just want to simply get started by simply selecting the pencil and start doing your sketches now without any form of configuration this has pen support so you might also consider taking a look at this if you already have a pen and you're looking for a free drawing app that can get you some things going other things to keep in mind is sketchbook also support layers and you might want to also explore the layers and for those who like to work with symmetrical stuff and all that Yep, Sketchbook also supports symmetry, so you might also be able to do some symmetrical things like so. And if you are also thinking about working with perspective, you can also turn this on and use this to draw several angles and you can see there are different perspective wrapping angles that you might want to explore. For those who also like working with rulers and stuff, yes, there are also some very cool ruler and, uh, you know, very organized stuff that you can work with. So you might also want to switch this to ruler and we can select this ruler right here and we can move this to a given point, say about a point like so. And we can just simply draw and move this all the way to this point. Select the eraser, erase this. And yeah, so depending on what you like to create, you might also find these things very useful and you can get started by working with them. So lots of things right here for those who like to play with sketchbook and maybe for those who haven't explored this before, I would strongly suggest that you take a look at this, especially if you're into drawings and maybe you're looking for a free app that has essentially most of the things that you might want to work with. You might want to check this one out. The only tool which I kind of think rivaled right sketchbook at a point was uh, Foundry's Mischief, but right now Foundry's Mischief is no longer available. So you probably will not be able to get this tool anymore as the folks at Foundry has gone through to terminate the app and they kind of stopped it sometime in 2018 or 2019. And in terms of development, the folks at Sketch book right now are saying that the roadmap that they have planned out and the updates that they also have planned out most of them are based on requests from sketchbook users and uh, of course some ideas are going to be coming over to sketchbook pretty soon so for those who like to get this link is going to be in the description this was just a very quick update just to get you guys to know that sketchbook is now officially in a brand new company known as sketchbook inc and it is no longer part of open and close quote autodesk tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with your tutorial updates 
Free Friday Tutorial Tuesday, Tips and Tricks, things like this. Peace.